back in the car. I guess I'm going to start a afternoon vlog, but this isn't actually a car vlog. It's just going to be a vlog about the foldable crutches that I posted on Instagram. Now, I've been working with James, Ricky, and Kyle for this project, and finally, we're going to see a full stainless prototype of the actual 3D printed one and aluminum version that James showed us. I'm gonna post the Instagram video here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Hi guys, this is James. James is living with Polio and he's making these awesome convertible foldable crushes. And this is a prototype that he's been working on for how many years now? Uh, six, six, seven years. Six, seven, seven years. So I'm actually helping James figure out one, how to mass produce this. Two, how to get funding for this project because obviously these are old crutches. And old crutches are hard to travel with when you're going in and out of public uh, utility vehicles, tricycles. So this is actually very cool. Can you unfold it for the viewer? So this is a prototype. Right now it's a very crude prototype, so we still need to improve a lot of that. I know, but crude is fine. It works where concept is there. Yeah. So obviously we just need to improve some of the mechanisms, but as you can see, it extends to a full length. Crutches. Plus it's super lightweight. The weather just decided to turn. It is now raining and hopefully we will make it on time. Now James is actually a survivor of polio. Not like the video said that he is living with polio. No, he actually survived polio. His backstory is that when he got the polio shot, he actually got the side effects of polio. Now I totally understand again how it feels to be handicapped because I've broken my leg twice in my life and it's not a fun thing. Once you have crutches, it's actually very hard to be mobile and move around especially if you are jumping in and out of public transport luckily i am driving my own car and even back then when i broke my leg it was my right leg i learned how to drive an automatic with my left leg just because i was so bored of being stuck at home so i actually forced myself to be able to use my left leg to learn how to navigate the gas and the brakes smoothly now as a race driver it actually makes good sense because i'm able to do left foot braking if i need to or trail braking in that case but today's not about a car vlog again we are now headed down to meet up with Kyle and Ricky and James in Ricky's machine shop so machine shop is actually a playground for creative minds like myself because once I see the machines my mind basically goes into what can we make this is for that that's for that so I'm actually quite interested to see the machine shop as well and feature that but the main agenda today is actually just to look at the prototype crutches and then hopefully give James a sample along with his friend so that they can actually test prove it and see if the design works now I don't have the actual costing yet for the prototype crutch but but I do feel there is a future market for nice mobility because it seems to me that no one has really spent a lot of time and interest to make mobility much easier much more portable online you can see foldable crutches but they fold in half which means they're still very thick the crutch that james designed was patterned off more of like a switchblade design rather than a foldable design in terms of just folding half on half each other because if you actually had both legs not working then you would need two crutches and then folding half and half together would still mean that it's actually fairly thick now James was also complaining about mobility when he goes in and out of public utility vehicles because as you know, when the crutch is full length, he has to basically reach over all the way to the other passenger and apologize and say sorry. And James is also sharing his story that when you fly in airplanes, the stewards get your crutches because it's too long to keep with you in the seat. So I actually quite like the design of James because it does make the crutch super portable, super small and super compact, which allows him to be able to stuff it in small places and not hassle anyone as he's using public utility vehicles. Imagine if we were able to change the game and actually provide more mobility to people who have handicaps or people who have poor mobility and able to provide comfort and then portability, accessibility. Obviously the price is a big thing also. James was also explaining when you needed the knee support braces and they're roughly like 100,000 each. So it's very expensive. And a lot of the confidence of people living with disabilities are actually shot down because as soon as they have poor mobility, their confidence goes down because they can't get a job and then they also get discriminated by their employers because they are people with disabilities. So 
it's actually a losing some game for them in a sense that's why I decided to take this on I don't normally answer solicitation emails but I felt like this is very important and I think there's a future because I really like the way he designed it I'm just curious to see if we can actually take this test product and go to market with it. So that's the whole agenda for today. Sorry if it's a bit chatty and a long intro, but that's exactly what we need to do. And excited, excited to see what change things of the prototype and the feedback that we're getting from him using the prototype. We're almost there. Don't you hate it when Waze sends you through the smallest and narrowest road? But it looks like we're here. We are deep, guys. I've never been this deep into the gig before. Compound is packed. It's like a little village inside the whole subdivision. We're just waiting for everyone else to arrive. There's a short presentation and then we are gonna go for a tour. This is Cherise. After the machining area, the presentation's done, and now we're just gonna get a basic tour. So this is our machining area. So manual, uh, we call this manual machining. Kasi uh, directly labor work yung mga gumagana. So manual milling. And then this is our part. Can you cut me a water bottle? If you saw this one, yung pinat niya, yan yung pinat niya. Nag-pass through siya dyan, and then in-slice niya yan. This is the solid block that they're gonna mill down. This one is a threaded pin. So nice. We are in the five axis CNC machining area and they are doing small things and it's just so nice to see all the processes here. Freshly clean. I love it. It's so cool. Tool holders. This is the powder coating area. I like this gold. This is the finished product from the casings that you saw. They're basically being exported. Amazing stuff. So the crutches prototype, but we are gonna come back, go to the laser cutter first, and then circle back. Hey, who's Krupsha? Babu. This is a huge laser cutting machine. Okay, here is the main course. And then how heavy is our prototype? Oh my god. What we got on prototype not then and off balance. Yung peel off mo lang yung rubber mo. Like a used tire. But uh, we recycle.
This is our benchmark. We're trying to see if we can do round tubing to get more rigidity with a thinner, lighter profile. Having to source the materials abroad. Okay, it's for the... 25 to 1 inch. Oh, yeah, it's it. Versus yung mga ibang foldable crutches na talaga scandaloso eh. Parang, sabi, Ay, excuse me, padaan, padaan excuse me. Hindi po-fold ko lang. Kyle brought me Supra. So amazed with the manufacturing that's happening here deep in the heart of the gig. Thank you so much to the team of Ricky, Erwin, Day, um, Charisse, and then obviously Kyle and James for everything. It's just like now we have sort of a renewed hope on where we're headed, what needs to be done. And so far we need to redo the tubing. We're gonna go with brown tubing for sure if we can get the materials. And then also we need to fix sort of the components and what's going to remain stainless and then what's going to remain aluminum. I didn't think this vlog was gonna be this long, but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And uh, James does have a page now where he is crowdfunding. So I'm going to post that in the description down below, but you can read his story there. And trust me, I think you'd wanna be a part of this journey that we're having in terms of rehabilitating the mobility game in the Philippines and hopefully the world. So I'll leave you guys on that note. I'll see you guys again in the next video. Peace. Hey guys, I'm with Ricky now. Ricky is in charge of Handler's Build Corporation, which is making our prototype for the foldable crushes. You remember James also from our last episode? So Ricky's brought us the version 2, which we're so excited to see. Good thing I have scissors here. Unboxing. <laughs> So if you guys have seen our previous episode, we actually had a, a version 1 which was a 3D printed prototype. Now, Ricky made us a steel prototype which we found very heavy. So what we did was we actually combined aluminum along with stainless steel to make this <laughs> There still needs to be a stopper there. There you go.